So I thought I would try the Ionity fast chargers with my Tesla Model 3 and see how good they are. So good morning from a petrol station here in Mainstone in Kent. Uh, I've come not to fill up my vehicle with petrol or diesel like most people are doing here, but I've come to check out this new Ionity charger, right? So um, this is my Tesla Model 3 Performance Edition. Uh, I've got a very low battery because I've been driving this morning on the motorway. And so these promise to be the fastest chargers in the UK right now, operating at 350 kilowatt. So uh, this is, I believe it's Ford, BMW and Volkswagen and Daimler have come together to put these uh, charging stations in the UK and in Europe to make it more attractive for people to own and uh, an EV. Right, so what we're going to try out, so this should hopefully lead to charging the car faster. Now, what I'm going to do is push this up, actually, so the car is locked. Let me unlock it. Okay, and let me do this again and try the charge port. So we open the charge port. Let's follow the instructions here. So please insert plug into vehicle. Okay. Okay, so we're going to follow this. Okay, let's put this, oh, get this cable out. It's quite tough. Okay, so do it CCS. Let's put that there. Okay, so that's done. Now what? Connect OK, press Start, scan your RFID card, I don't have an RFID card, uh, let's see, press Start, OK, maybe, oh, direct payment without registration, OK, so what we have to do is we have to get my other phone, uh, because I'm filming with my iPhone, and let's open the Ionity app. So, scan QR code. Scan QR code. Okay. Okay, it's done it, I think. Cool. Okay, proceed as guest. It's going to cost me eight pounds. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. Um, because I have to do the credit card payment. I'll be right back. So I've done the payment on the phone, but it's saying error communication problems, car should be turned off. Well, the car is off. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's try doing this. Okay, the connector is not properly inserted. Uh, if necessary, read the help screen when you're asked to connect your car. Uh, maybe I can go around and just see Oh, it is charging. Wait a minute, let's take a look. Uh, it says charging has stopped. Right, I don't know what's going on. Car needs service. Unable to charge. Uh, what? Oh, God. Now the car needs a service? Uh-oh. God, I haven't, I hope I haven't broken it. go back. I don't know whether I can try plugging it in again. I think I'm going to have to try phoning the hotline and see what happens. So sadly I'm now on hold um, so I'm phoning up Ionity to say like how come I can't charge my Model 3 what's going on right in terms of this error message so this is, I'll show you what's come up. So, and that's very early in the morning, but um, this is one of the problems of being an early adopter of new technologies, and, and this is what's going to scare consumers, right? So, what if something goes wrong? It's half six in the morning, I have to get to a destination, something's wrong with either my car or the electric charging point or whatever, again, paid my money. So, that's the difference why, again, compared to filling up with fuel, you know, it's a reliable method. You go, you pull up, you put your, your fuel into your tank, and then you know, you pay your money and you're away. And the thing is, with all this electric car stuff, um, it's still early days yet, so there are problems and... Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I can see it restarting and doing something. Oh, it says this charger is out of order. Okay, normally it doesn't take so long to restart. Oh, now it's come back. It says, please insert plug into vehicle. Shall I do that? Uh, one moment, please. I have to refresh it. So not an ideal situation, but let's see what happened next. So... It says, oh, it says charging now, 100%. So if I go over to my car, yes, the green light is on. And okay. if I walk all the way around, inside, just to double check what it's saying. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So this is now charging at a rate of, so this is meant to be a 300 kilowatt hour charger. I mean, 350 kilowatt charger. So you see there it's charging at 700. Okay. Cool. So let's see if that goes up. I'll put a change this limit because I don't want to charge all the way. Set limit. About okay, there done. Okay, so oh, I thought it would be quicker, it's only 186. Oh, oh, that's right, so I'm limited to 186. I mean, I'm limited to 200 with my Tesla Model 3. So I'm back here, so I had some problems, had to phone Ionity, which turned out to be in Germany, about five minute wait. So I'll just show you, it is now charging. So there, 64% has been delivered in 14 minutes, 40 kilowatt hours. Now, um, if we go over inside and I'll just show you, because the charging rate has slowed down now. So now charging at 100. Earlier it was charging at like 191 kilowatts, so it's charging about 750 miles an hour. Now it's slowed down to 410 miles an hour. So another 20 minutes left to fill up the battery according to the limit I've set. So, um, I was speaking to the guy from inside, from Esso, and he was saying, yeah, some, what happens is with these chargers is when the voltage drops, he was saying, they have problems and they need to be reset. Um, however, you know, they've been, only been around for a while and, um, you know, these are the first in England. So, of course, they're going to be teething problems. And, um, you know, so it's going to be an interesting time ahead as we see the rollout of more and more fast chargers like these Ionity ones. But also it's a case of they really have to get uh, to make sure it's not still as reliable as just turning up and knowing you can fill up the fuel immediately and you don't, you know, you don't have to call somebody and say hey can you reset the, ga the petrol pump because it's not working so this again is from a consumer perspective there's still a little there's still work to be done to ensure that your journey is as seamless as possible you don't have any problems luckily this one turned out to be okay they managed to reset it had to move the car to a different bay um, so I started off in, in Bay 3 and then now I'm in Bay 2. Um, but again, something to think about if you're considering either shifting to an electric car or you are um, in thinking of installing these charge points and thinking, well, you know, this is going to attract new customers into my petrol station or into my retail park or whatever. Anyway, so interesting times ahead in the world of electric cars. I'm nearly done, I think, charging, probably showing another, actually another 20 minutes. I'm going to go and grab a coffee. So charging my electric car here in uh, Maidstone at this Ionity uh, charging. Now I've got another, looks like, let me just show you, I have uh, another few minutes left. Now what do you do if you've got five minutes left? So in a Tesla Model 3 or in a, any Tesla would do this. So you go down and you can, let's just, we can play an arcade game if we want. So beach buggy racing. Yes, we want to do that. So we do start. Okay. Yes. This should load so you pass some time whilst the car's charging in a petrol station so this is going to start the game and then beach buggy racing two 
Cool, come on. So look at all these people filling up with uh, diesel and petrol whilst I'm waiting in my car charging, playing beach buggy racing. Okay, there you go. So let's do one player. Let's do continue. Let's do performance. Cool, so I can use a steering wheel as well. So, okay, come on, let's go. I've got my feet on the pedals, I can press the gas. So, whoa, no, let me just, woo, we don't want to go in the seat, whoa. Press the, press the accelerator, it will break. Whoa, whoa. I'm trying to film and play the game at the same time. Anyway, probably finished charging now. I just wanted to show you what Tesla owners can get up to when they're charging their car. So the big question is, how long does it take? So with this car, it filled up um, 9 to 9% of the battery, took 35 minutes, cost of eight pounds. Now, I think that's good value. And in terms of speed, this will only get faster in terms of as new cars come on the market, as things improve. So I'm really, really glad that Ionity have got these chargers here in the UK. It's a good move for anybody who's got an electric vehicle who can use these.